Congratulations on your new bath and body range. What's the best thing about having your own beauty range? I think the best thing about having my own beauty range is having the freedom to create something that I absolutely love. So it could be anything, any colour, any scent. Um, I think that's the most exciting thing, definitely. I like the lip balm. What's your favourite product from the range? My, well, I love all of them, but I would have to say my favourite is probably the scrub because I really wanted something that was quite summery and I also love the texture and I love how it makes my skin feel. What's your all-time favourite makeup look? Ooh, I think my all-time favourite is either a smoky gold eye or um, I really like a red lip or a berry lip actually. I'm going to talk to you a bit about your home life now. Okay. What's it like having your puppy Nala around the house? It is chaotic. As you can see, she's quite an excited puppy. <laughs> she's running around in the background. Because she's only 10 months old, she does require a lot of attention. Um, but I love her a lot. And it would be really strange if she wasn't around because it's like that little excited, we call her the bullet because she's so quick and wherever you are she wants to be with you but it is so lovely. It's like having a constant little friend which is very nice. What advice would you give someone who's thinking of getting a puppy? I have a lot of advice for someone who's thinking of getting a puppy only because I had never had a dog before we had Nala, not in our family or ever. Um, so it was quite a shock to the system getting a puppy but I would say the biggest advice is going to puppy classes because you learn so much and the trainers are great and it's a really good way of being around other people who have also just got puppies because it can be quite a shock to the system um, and it's just so so much fun for her to interact with other puppies and yeah I think that would be my main piece of advice is go to puppy classes straight away. <laughs> What's your favourite place to shop for nice things in your house? Oh, I like this question. I like a lot of things in John Lewis. Tiger have some lovely little home bits. Next Home, has got some nice things in there. I basically just love everything copper and fairy lights. <laughs> I think fairy lights make everything look so cute. What's your favourite, favourite dinner? Oh, my favourite, favourite dinner would either be a pizza. Do you like pizza? What's your favourite pizza? Pepperoni. Pepperoni, ooh. I think pizza or something with mashed potato, because I'm obsessed with mashed potato. I think I could eat it with anything, which is a bit weird, but I like it. <laughs> What's your favourite movie? I like all the Disney films. You've got a favourite Disney film? Ariel, I think. Oh, The Little Isn't Mermaid. It? Oh yeah, that's a good one. I like all the Disney films, and I also like um, Le Miserable. I think that's a really good film. Now... I think this one's important to you. Ooh. It's about your vlogging. Oh, yes. Why did you first start your YouTube channel? I first started my YouTube channel because I was watching a lot of other people do YouTube and I was gaining a lot of really useful tips um, from other people. And then I felt very passionate about makeup and beauty. And because I was too shy to make YouTube, I started blogging. And then once I felt confident blogging, I then thought, oh, maybe I can do a video. Some people might want to watch it. And then from there, I absolutely loved it and just carried on. What's been the best bit so far since you launched your channel? Oh, that's a hard question. There's so many best bits. Um, I think one of the greatest things uh, that's come out of starting the channel is making so many amazing friends who I've now got for life. Um, meeting Alfie and Louise um, and just having lots of really amazing opportunities. Who would you like to do a, cha a challenge with? Oh, who would I like to do a challenge with? I think I would love to do a challenge with Taylor Swift. Don't know what the challenge would be, but I think it would be quite fun. She strikes me as a very fun person to be around. What's been your favourite challenge so far? I think one of my favourite challenges, which is actually the most viewed video on my YouTube channel, is the 7 second challenge with Miranda Sings. It always makes me laugh. If I'm having like a bit of a down day, I'll put the video on and it's guaranteed to make me smile by the end. And I feel like a lot of people feel that way about the video. Um, so I think that one. Are you excited about having your waxwork in Madame Tussauds? I am very excited. Um, it's going to be very strange because 
um, I was saying to Alfie, you, you never really see yourself in full 3D. When you look in the mirror, you can kind of, you can get about this much, but you've never seen yourself all the way around. So it's gonna be really weird to like walk around the waxwork and just be like, oh, that's what I really look like. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be really, really exciting, but really strange, I feel like. <laughs> What advice would you give me if I wanted to be a vlogger? I would say to have fun, that's the main thing, because if you're not enjoying it, then people will be able to tell when they watch your videos. And if you're really passionate about what you're talking about and you're happy and you're having a good time, then I think everyone will be instantly drawn to watching the videos. Um, don't worry about not feeling confident at first because if you go back and watch everyone else's first videos they're never super amazing or they're not really confident it's kind of something that you learn and kind of progress with as you go um, and good lighting is always key always sit by a window thank you for answering all my questions That's so well okay. I hope you enjoyed them thank you I did thank you very much Well done, great interviewer. <laughs>